Hey guys, it's Chloe and today I am here with a brand new video. So today I am here with my most anticipated releases of fall 2017, better known as for the rest of the year. I'm going to be talking about all of the anticipated releases from September through the end of the year in December. So I have 11 books to talk about, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so starting in September, my first most anticipated release is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas, and this has already come out. It came out on September 5th. So this is the sixth book in the Throne of Glass world, except this one is following Kale, and even though I'm not caught up on this series, I am, <laughs> I've only read up to Crown of Midnight. Um, even though I'm not caught up on this series, I'm still really excited for this book. I do want to continue on with the series. I just haven't. So in the comments below, leave me motivation to catch up on the Throne of Glass series. <laughs> Honestly, not sure what to think about this book only because I'm not caught up on the series. I feel like I'll have more of an opinion once I'm caught up on the series. But either way, right now, I am still excited. The next most anticipated release, which also came out on September 5th, is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I've never read an Adam Silvera book. I did meet Adam Silvera once and he signed both of my books, but I'm still excited for this book. He writes contemporary LGBT plus books and I'm all for it. So another book I am anticipating even though I haven't read anything by him. I own his other two books, but I haven't read them, but I'm hoping to read them before the year is over. This book I am most anticipating also came out on September 5th is If There's No Tomorrow by Jennifer L. Armentrout and I have read I'd say a good amount of her books. I've read the entire Obsidian series. I've read um, her other contemporary book, The Problem with Forever, and that is one of the main reasons why I'd like to read this book is her first contemporary read, I think it was her first, was really good and I really enjoyed it. I think she does a great job at writing contemporary and I would look forward to reading this book as well. The next release I'm anticipating is One Dark Throne by Kendar Blake. This is the second book in the Three Dark Crowns series. I do have an arc of Three Dark Crowns that I'm hoping to read very soon because I'm looking forward to this book. So I'm anticipating the sequel as well. I realize that I haven't read a lot of these books that I'm anticipating or like the, the prequels to them, but I'm still excited either way. I have heard a lot of mixed things about Three Dark Crowns. I've heard good things, I've heard bad things, I've heard in between things, so I'm really really hoping to enjoy this book. The last September release I'm anticipating is The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. This is, I, heard, I believe it's short stories set in the Grisha universe. I haven't read Shadow and Bone series yet. I'm gonna read the first book in September, I promise, because and because, 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 and one of the reasons I'm anticipating this book is Lee Bardugo is coming to my city and no popular authors come to my city whatsoever. So I am living for this right now. Yes, I'm gonna read Shadow and Bone in September and get into the Grisha trilogy, hopefully, so I can read this book because I am excited that she's even coming anywhere near my city because popular authors don't come here at all. Moving into October, the first book of October that I'm anticipating, which I think a lot of contemporary fans are anticipating, and if you like John Green, yeah, you're anticipating this, and that is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. This is coming out on October 10th. This is John Green's first book since The Fault in Our Stars, which was released 2012, I think? That's five years, and I'm so excited. I have read all of his other books except for Will Grayson. Will Grayson is the only one that I have not read. I am pumped for this. I don't know too much about this book, I just know the the basic idea of it, but I am ready for it. Also, not too big of a fan of this cover, but I can look past it. I can look past it, and I'm going to, because it's about the content, not the cover. Next October release that I'm anticipating is Harry Potter, A Journey Through a History of Magic. This is done by British Library as well as J.K. Rowling, and I am ready. It is coming out on October 20th. And I almost forgot to include this in this video, but I'm excited for it. Of course, I love everything Harry Potter, anything Harry Potter, I'm here for it. And I'm ready for this one too. I, I, I don't know what to say about it, honestly. I don't know what to say. So with that being said, I'll move on to the last October release that I'm excited for, which is also Harry Potter related and it's Harry Potter History of Magic, again by British Library and JK Rowling. Same date comes out October 20th, so I am pumped for these two books. Anything that's Harry Potter related, I'm here for it. Obviously I'm wearing my Ravenclaw team captain of the Quidditch team shirt that I got from Harry Potter World. I do find it interesting though that new releases normally come out on Tuesdays and these are coming out on Fridays. These, these two Harry Potter books. Is that a UK thing? I don't know. 
Moving right on to November, the first most anticipated release of November is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. This is the first book in her superhero story that honestly I'm not sure how to feel about, but it's Marissa Meyer and I trust her. Trusted my heart to Marissa Meyer with the Lunar Chronicles and with Heartless. I can trust her with this too. I love her. I, I have to trust her. Renegades comes out on November 7th, literally two days before I leave for y'all fest. I'm leaving on the 9th and she's gonna be there so of course I have to make sure I have my copy so I can have her sign it at y'all fest. If you're gonna be at y'all fest comment down below. <laughs> the last November book that I'm anticipating is War of the Cards by Colleen Oaks. This is the third and final book in the Queen of Hearts trilogy and this one is coming out on November 7th. I started this series because this third book is coming out this year and I need to be prepared for the Young Adult Booktube Awards. I ended up really loving the first book and I read the second book and enjoyed it so now I'm excited to see how this trilogy comes to an end. Again, if you've followed this channel for a while, I love anything Alice in Wonderland. I really enjoy Alice in Wonderland retellings, so I'm hoping that this series ends pretty well. And I do like that this trilogy isn't really a, it doesn't, it's not a retelling of Alice. It's a retelling of the Queen of Hearts, but her name is Dinah. And if you follow Alice in Wonderland or you know anything about Alice in Wonderland, Dinah is Alice's cat, I believe. So I thought this was an interesting take on it, but I'm enjoying it. The final book that I am anticipating for fall of 2017 comes out in December, and that is Ever the Brave by Erin Summerill, and this one comes out on December 5th. Now I did read Ever the Hunted, which is the first book in this series, back in January, I believe, and I didn't really enjoy it that much. It kind of just fell flat and was, and just, was just okay for me. And the reason I'm anticipating the sequel is because the first book left on a cliffhanger, and honestly, I just want to read it because I'm curious at this point, and I just want to know what happens. So I figured, why not? I'll read the second book and, and we'll see. So guys, those are all of the books that I am anticipating for basically the rest of the year. That is all I have for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you'd like a behind the scenes look at my life, you can check my vlog channel, Glow Essence. And if you like to see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!